And here I thought you were cheering because we did a good job. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so in the middle, of, uh, full disclosure, in the middle of that song, I'm chewing gum. It's kind of this crutch for me. And every time I hit a long note and I have my mouth open, I always feel like you guys can see the gum. Can you see the gum? Mixed bag, some of you can, some of you can. Sometimes. So this next song... I told you that gum joke was gonna kill. <laughs> it was right there in the teleprompter. Gum joke. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, PJ. So this, um, so I, I told you the story earlier about come back to me and how I'm an idiot, right? You guys remember that story? Okay. So this next song, same thing. Except the different thing is I, I wrote this. <laughs> Idiot. So, <laughs> and I actually, I gotta, I gotta give props to uh, somebody in the audience. Uh, oh, Andrew, where you at? Where's Andrew? Stand up so I can see you. Can we turn the house lights up? Do we have that? Oh, he's back there. Everybody turn around towards the front of the house. Andrew, wave hello. Okay. Let this be known. This is the only time. So document it, get your phones out, whatever. This is the only time where I'm going to say that Andrew was kind of smart on this one. Only time. And if anybody outside this room asks in the future, I'm going to say you're all liars. So, <laughs> so we, it was me and uh, these two guys from, from uh, a faraway land known as the United Kingdom. We wrote this song, and uh, I didn't like it. And I'd had this idea for months, and I almost didn't use it because I had the idea, and then all of a sudden this movie with Michael Sarah and uh, uh, some other actress came out with the same title. I can't, some other actress. Michael Sarah's not an actress, he's an actor. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. And then um, this guy, Just, Justin Gaston, is that right? Used to date Miley Cyrus, that dude? He came out with a single with the same title. I was like, how oh, do I use it? Screw it, I'm doing it. So I wrote this song uh, with these guys and didn't like it. But again, after come back to me, I was like, okay, I'll get other people's opinions. And everybody I played it for was like, dude, that's, that's one of the ones you gotta do. And I still, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. So I played it for Andrew. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that pity for Andrew? <laughs> Well, what's up, Talking McTalker? So what else you got? <laughs> I either had to give him a microphone or Monty, so you see the decision was pretty easy. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> because his head's turning red. <laughs> okay, so play it. Excuse me. I'm telling a story. Okay. So, yeah, right? I only have one sort of wine in the British show. Right? So, play it for Andrew. Andrew goes, that's the hit. Which is a heavy statement to make. It's a heavy statement because it's not, that song's good. Or, that song's great. It's, that song's going to make you millions. You know? So I'm like, all right. Well. Okay. All right. So I conceded defeat. Def like I was begrudging the final song. So they're okay, you know, I'll listen to because, you know, I don't listen to him a lot. As you but most of the time when he gives me music recommendations, they're pretty spot on. I like them most of the time. <laughs> so I agreed to do the song. We're going with Matt Serletic and cut the song. And, uh, and now, I, this is what makes Andrew right, is I listen to that record now, 
and it is, pro I'd say it's top three favorite songs on the record for me. I feel nauseous because I just gave him credit. Drink more. <laughs> All right. Drink break. I'm a lightweight. I ain't that bad. Gin and tonic. Good God. What kind of show do you want this to turn into? Shots. All right. All right. 